Jack, congratulations. Incredible performance out there. I mean, your fight IQ is incredibly high, mature throughout the whole fight, in control. You then revealed to us, however, you had a torn <laughs> bicep and in the, the, you know, the first ra uh, round or the first takedown you felt it go. I mean, in light of that, you must be very happy with the performance. Yeah, just happy to get through it, obviously. Um, tore it two weeks ago. Um, the, the PA staff here have been brilliant, you know, got me to... Got me to a, a point where you know I couldn't throw a jab five days ago, where, where it's obviously I threw multiple then. So big thanks to them, of course. Um, I thought it would hold up. To be honest, I thought in the rest, and I may be able to just you know look for certain positions where I could cruise a little bit. But as soon as I took him down, I was in full guard. I could feel I had no leverage at all. Um, when he was looking for takedowns on me, I had to go right down there. I, I, I couldn't, couldn't. I mean, I can't get past it. So obviously, some some it's not right to it. But um, just just happy to get through. And, uh, and get the win in, in good fashion, d despite being one armed. <laughs> My gosh, you, we wouldn't have known. But but was that a reason you let go of the submission? Yeah, I mean, I'm very good for my position in the gym. Like the arm triangle is my go-to there, and the rear naked choke. So so once I got there, I thought, right, let's have a go at it. But it, it fell on this side, and as soon as I like settled to the side of him, I started squeezing. I could just feel it. Was like I, I was an inch or two away from getting that full squeeze that I'm used to getting, and I thought I'm going to do more arm than good here. So I thought just just give up on it, control the position and, and go from there. I mean, if it had been healed up, hopefully I would have finished him with it, but uh, it is what it is. You are still undefeated though, incredible feat. Now 4-0 and in the UFC as well. Michael Bisping gave you the opportunity to call somebody out and I've heard him say prior to this fight night, he's like, I want him to give me a name. You gave numbers, someone in the top 15, but with a bit of time to think about it, any name that excites you in the division? Um, I'll have to look at the rankings to be honest. I don't, because like, it's, it's chopped and changing so much. A, a guy I did... Um, I think would be a good fight was uh, Kyler Phillips. I know he's out of the rankings now, so you know I'd like I'd obviously like one of those guys in the rank spots. Anyone between that top, and I'm not calling for like the one, two, and threes. Cause I, I understand how the game works, but there's no reason why I can't be in there now with the 15, the 14, the 13. I think Song Yadong is one of them. Um, I think Marlon Vera is slightly higher. There's a couple here that uh, that I'd love, love to jump in with. But look, if I got to fight someone else that's unranked, <laughs> I, I get this was this guy's debut. But like I keep saying, you know. I was meant to fight a, a, a legit prospect in Neil Gomedov and he, he pulled out. I'm not saying he's scared or anything like that, but you know I'm still here. I, I still turned up and fought, so I feel like I've earned the opportunity to, to get that name. But you know I'm not a, I'm not a winger. If, if I don't get it, I'll go in there and, and fight someone else and, and prove one way or another that eventually I'm going to get to the to the top dogs in this division. So Neil Gomedov, what is still an, a name that you would like? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I assume. He's like I mean, if we were there, I'd, I'd like to think I've pushed up a little bit now because I turned up and I fought and, and I've moved on. You know, I, I don't. In the future, he gets a win and he gets a rank, and me and him can fight there, no problem. But um, I like to think now I've I've earned my slot. That uh, at, at a well, you know, if it's not going to be someone rank, I want it to be a name. You know, a name that the the people who are not not necessarily diehard fan of the sport are going to know. So. You know, whether that be one of the legends or someone who's ranked, that, that's what I'm looking at next. Obviously, once I've uh, got this shoulder sorted, no, no, no more one arm fights for me. No, I, I don't blame you. And Michael Bisping compared you to a young George St. Pierre. <laughs> I mean, that's got to feel good, right? Of course. Um, GSP, one of my idols in this sport, one, one of my favourite fighters to watch. I mean, I was like 11, 10 years of age watching GSP, and I always remember thinking he can do it all. If he's fighting a grappler, you'll beat him on the feet. If he's fighting a striker, you'll take him down and wrestle him and submit him. And I wouldn't necessarily say I'm molding my style after him, but I've always grown up envisioning, like, oh, wouldn't it be good to be that guy who is not an easy... For, like, I've always wanted to be that guy where you get up with me, you think you can't look at me and think, right, I'll keep it on the feet because he's not a good striker, or I'll take him down because he's not a good grappler. So it's just falling into place, I suppose, that, you know, I, I, I'm quite well-rounded. GSP was, was the best of the best of being well-rounded, so... If I can achieve a quarter of what you just achieved in this game, then I'll retire and happy man. I'm sure, and everyone's talking this week about how well-rounded you are, how technical you are. We now learned that you did it with one arm as well. How long does that type of injury take to heal up? Is it something you'll have to have surgery for, both the, the bicep and you said the shoulder as well? Yeah, so it's, uh, the, the PI staff, also I haven't had an MRI or anything, so we don't know for definite, but um, the PI staff are convinced that it was a torn bicep tendon. So from what, what they told me, it can get twisted up. It may need surgery to, to realign it, but I've just spoke to Dr. Davidson, I think it was, he's going to get me an MRI sorted back in the UK. Um, and he said once the results are in from that, he can advise me then on whether it's surgery, but whether it may be, I don't know, physio for a couple of months, or maybe, maybe just a little bit of rest and, and, and I'll sort it out. But obviously the staff would tell me to play because, because we're so wrestle and punch heavy in this game, these things do need rest to, uh, to get right. So 
I mean, I, I'm, I'm not in a rush. I'm, I'm 26 years old. I'll, uh, this just, I've just had my fourth UFC fight, my 27th fight overall. So I'll give it a bit of time to heal, make sure I'm 100%. So when I do come back and hopefully get one of those big names, I'll be 100% ready to, uh, to perform. Well, hopefully it won't take too long. And last question from me. Obviously, we're not in London, but it's a friendly time of the day back in the UK watching <laughs> the fights. A lot of other Brits on the card. How does it feel? And have you got a message to your British fans out there? It feels great. Um, you know, I, I'm sure all the boys back home are happy that I'm going to stay up till, uh, till 3 a.m. to watch me fight. And uh, just want to thank everyone in the UK, obviously, and all around the world, Wales especially, for, uh, for all their support. There's a lot of Brits on the card now, so get behind them. You know, we're all rooting for each other out here. It's been that viable week. You know, a lot of guys I was on Cage Warriors with, you know, Aspinall, Till as well. So we're all rooting each other on. It'd be, it'd be great to see them all do well. You know, I've, uh, I've got a ball rolling. Let's see the rest of them. Uh, and, and, and let's get a nice clean sweep. It'd be nice. Absolutely. Congratulations Thank on a dominant performance. Thank you. Thank you.